Hi, this is Greg with Best Choice Trailers. Today we're going to take a walk around a Load Trail CH14. This is a 14,000 pound equipment trailer. It's equipped with the optional max ramps at the rear, which provide for full width loading. Shown here is a 7 by 24 foot. Once you go over a 22 foot length, we're going to go standard into an upgraded dual jacks and also to an 8 inch channel tongue and frame. So again, as equipped here, is an 8 inch channel tongue and frame. That would certainly make this uh, one of the heavier duty equipments in this segment. Most 14K equipments are going to be equipped with a 6 inch channel. So again, dual jacks are standard equipment on this particular unit. It's got the adjustable coupler. Notice that is a cast coupler, not a stamped. Now one option this does have is the blue cold weather harness. Uh, that allows it to stay flexible down to negative temperatures. But again, that is a 8 inch channel tongue and then going back it's also the 8 inch channel frame certainly a very heavy built trailer certainly capable of hauling most of what uh, you can throw at it so this does have the pinstriping going down the uh, tongue and then down the sides gives it a nice look also notice the load trail decal and the reflector tape it's got all led lights these are rubber grommeted lights if something were to hit them notice they will uh, flex and move they're not hard and rigid stake pocket tie downs also it has oversized d-rings those will be 5 8 rings this has a 16 inch on center 3 inch structural channel floor cross member underneath the 2 by 8 treated pine most in the industry do do a 16 inch on center on 14k occasionally we'll catch somebody doing 24s uh, some in the industry now, though, are using a lighter form cross member. These are the old school structural channel uh, cross members. This does have removable fenders. Uh, occasionally, I get a customer who asks why removable. Well, why not? Uh, if it's a removable fender and you need to replace it, it certainly makes it a lot easier. Also, if you wanted to fork something on from the side of the trailer, if you take that fender off, it'll get you down to about a three, well, this trailer with the taller frame gets you down to about an inch give or take an inch or two of the uh, top of the tire certainly if you're going to fork stuff on from the side it does make it nice uh, lastly if you're going to load a super low profile car on here which isn't likely what you're going to do on this model but certainly some of the other models you may uh, makes it to where you can get a car door open so it gives you some extra flexibility it is a double broke fender meaning there's two brakes two brakes give it more strength than would one brake or a smooth radius style fender a little bit heavier duty equipment style. Notice it does have a built-in uh, reinforcement into the front side of the fender. Now they're going to use a Dexter brand axle on this. It is equipped with the newer style never adjust brakes, kind of like a car setup. The brakes are forward adjusting so that you never have to adjust them through the life of the pad. Now they do have an adjuster on them, but they've got the spring tensioner on to where it's self-adjust. Another neat feature on these that's newer to the marketplace, behind that black cap on the end of the axle, there is a greaser, or what they would call an easy lube hub, to where an average uh, homeowner with some basic hand tools can, uh, can service their own bearings on the trailer. Now, Load Trail also puts a Gladiator brand tire on this. Uh, even though most of the tires uh, are Chinese built, uh, there are some different grades to them. The Gladiator, we find, is one of the better uh, but better brands or one of the better grades of them. This is equipped with the Gladiator tires. Also, if there was ever a tire warranty claim, Gladiator is a nationwide company, making uh, things like that certainly easier in that event. This is also equipped with the slipper spring suspension. If you're not familiar, slipper spring is going to be a heavier duty suspension than would be the alternative, which would be an eye to eye suspension. So this does have the uh, slipper springs on it. Now another thing on uh, Load Trail, they're going to powder coat these as do most of your main manufacturers. However, they also do a powder coat primer or a zinc primer, which uh, uh, basically is a bonding agent that would go underneath the primary powder coat. So not only do we find Load Trail puts a thicker powder coat on uh, than most of the other brands, but it's also got a primer underneath the paint. A couple other features, a little bit different again. I think I mentioned they use the heavier D-rings on these. They're 5 8 instead of a half inch. Uh, they also put a uh, gusset plate on the beaver tail. Uh, don't always find those. Give some extra reinforcement 
uh, to that beaver tail area. And one of the things this is uh, uh, different than a lot of our other trailers would be, this has the max ramp. So instead of a slide out ramp or a stand up ramp, uh, this is gonna give you full width loading of the ramp. And then of course, uh, whenever it flattens out, it's gonna uh, be a flat level deck all the way back. Uh, these are a spring assisted ramp, making them a little bit lighter uh, to use. Simply pull that up, very simple, and then uh, lift it over. Certainly, I did it without any trouble with one hand. This is a self-cleaning pleated beaver tail. Uh, it's about a three and a half foot dovetail and three and a half foot ramp, give or take. And again, that is a spring assist. Very simple if you ever wanted to take it off. We'll also stand in the upright position. I didn't show you that, a little hard to do with one hand, but if you did want to do that, simply unclip and it will stand in the upright, well, it'll be in an angled position, attaching to the nub on the ramp there. So that's a neat setup, a lot of different names for this. I call it full width ramps. Every manufacturer's got their own name. A load shell's gonna call that the max ramp. Again, with this being a taller frame, got pretty low profile on the fenders. Traditionally, an equipment trailer you're gonna have nine or 10 inches. Uh, this one here is going to be a little bit lower than that. So if you do want to load a car, uh, certainly with this one shouldn't have any problem getting the, uh, the doors open. Again, with the taller frame, it does make it a little nicer if you are going to load skid material or similar on it to take that removal fender off. You can get this in different configurations. You can do it with 8,000 pound axles. Also available in a gooseneck, uh, although the, the tag trailer here certainly is the most common. Again, as mentioned earlier, uh, anything less than a 24 foot is going to drop down to the 6 inch frame. Anything over is going to bump up to the 8 inch frame. Uh, one other thing worth mentioning, Load Trail does offer standard equipment on this. A 232 warranty. It take you around and show you the sticker. Something pretty unique to these guys. Uh, cover the whole trailer for... Try and zoom in for you. Cover the whole trailer, two years on a comprehensive three year on a structural and certainly with this structure I don't think you're gonna hurt too much and then a two-year roadside assistance uh, the roadside assistance is pretty unique and fully covering a trailer is also pretty unique uh, so they the comprehensive uh, certainly is what it says the roadside assistance would cover if you're locked out of your tow vehicle attached to this trailer if you need hydraulic fluid fuel etc uh, there's a 800 number right below that decal uh, pretty neat program, something different certainly than our other vendors do. So, appreciate you looking. If you have any questions on this, you can take a look on our website at bestchoicetrailers.com or you can always call us anytime at 717-220-4220. Thanks for looking.